This is the Oasis News Organization. Oh no. Today's report, the armadillo. The armadillo is awfully popular down here in Texas. There are plenty of armadillos in Peacock's County, including at the Oasis. First night I spent here in my two-man tent, one of these little guys came in. Well, he didn't come in the tent. He stuck his head in because I hadn't zipped it up, and he scared the ever-living doo-wah out of me, and I think I scared the doo-wah out of him because he turned around and took off. Of course, I've mentioned several times that the buzzer is the most popular bird, but you'll notice here that between the buzzard and the armadillo, neither one of them are much to look at. This is the ancestor of the armadillo, and its, uh, it's fossils have been found around here before, uh, like peacocks filled up. There were plenty of fossils and weird-looking things pieces left by this creature that used to roam around a million years ago but there's an even more weird one that's come along here in recent years whoa look at this now there's a nuclear reactor up in Glenrose which is about oh two hours from the oasis and this is the only picture of this creature so there is questions if it's real and the man that took the picture, after he published it, he disappeared for a good while, but uh, we ended up finding him at a male strip club down in Brownsville. Turns out he only had one leg. Very odd fellow. During the interview about this creature he supposedly photographed, he had a seizure and he died, and a couple of days later, the coroner said he overdosed on V8 juice and fried crab cakes. That's pretty odd, too. Up north, they have uh, stories about Bigfoot. Well, down in these parts, we have the armadillo werewolf. Now, there are uh, tales of uh, Native Americans talking about a man-sized creature with the skin of an armadillo and that when you shot it with bows and arrows they'd bounce right off and then the armadillo werewolf would then uh, bite the head off of the person who's trying to kill him and then turn him upside down and drink all the blood. Now this is the last photograph we have of scientific uh, oddities. Now, the, the longhorn cow and the armadillo are both very dear to Texans' hearts. So there were some scientists down in College Station that have been trying to crossbreed them for some reason or another. And they've gotten this far, but... Uh, they only live for uh, 13 and a half days, but they do come born with longhorns. Another kind of odd thing. Well, actually, pretty much all of this armadillo stuff is weird. Look at this one. There's a catfish with an armadillo in it. Now, armadillos don't like water, and catfish don't go crawl around on the ground, so how did this happen? I think the armadillo was getting a drink of water in a little creek and then the, some old catfish, there's just enough water for it to swim up that creek and got himself a small armadillo. That's my theory. Every year there's the Peacock's County Fair and you know what they have? They have bowling armadillos. And across the state of Texas, Different counties have these, and the top two winners from each county, they get to go up to Dallas in October to the state fair, and they have a state fair championship of bowling armadillos. How about that? That's weird, too. For any natural-born Texan, 
or naturalized Texan. This is the best picture you'll ever see. The armadillo with a lone star long neck. You can't get much better than that. I mentioned in the beginning that the armadillo and the buzzard aren't much to look at, and actually all of these other photos I've shown you aren't much to look at either. But take a look at that Peacock's County Peacock. That is one good-looking bird. Today's report's dedicated to Jerry Jeff Walker, his album Viva Terlingua, the song London Homesick Blues, which was written by his buddy and sung by Gary P. Nunn. The lyric, And of the whole damn lot, the only friend I got is a smoke and a cheap guitar. My mind keeps roaming, my heart keeps longing to be home in a Texas bar. I want to go home with the armadillo. Good country music from Amarillo and Abilene. The friendliest people and the prettiest women you have ever seen. So let's go home to the armadillo. Remember, Ono, world peace begins at home.